Hello and welcome to another video. This is our September 2019 69 plate Toyota Hilux 2.4 D4D automatic Invincible X double cab with the Truckman hardtop on the back. The car's covered 25,900 and something miles with full Toyota service history. We've just had it serviced by the local Toyota dealer and the MOT was done uh, quite recently as well, so that's all fresh as well. Now this vehicle has been um, really well prepared for sale. We fitted some really nice accessories on the vehicle and I'm gonna take you around, show you some of those accessories and uh, the bodywork has been fully detailed, machine polished. We do the same on all of our cars here and we've given this the same treatment. Now this is also the, uh, the limited edition at this age, which gives it that distinctive black gloss grille. Now we've also fitted a Toyota body, uh, bonnet guard, sorry, along with some Toyota wind deflectors for the windows there, which are really nice because they fit very flush. They don't protrude too much and they join well in the center. There's no gap like you have on some of the other uh, wind deflectors. So we always choose to go that direction. And uh, this has got the sort of the black pack, if you like, on the vehicle, which is the black gloss mirrors, black gloss handles opposed to the uh, chrome. We've got black gloss finishes around the uh, fog lights down here at the front. If I bring you round, you can see just how nice it is. Really nice LED lights at the front on these later Hiluxes. Now, if I bring you up onto the bonnet, you can see that it's in lovely conditions. Bring it down, let's see if I can get it a bit brighter. There we go. There are a couple of very insignificant stone chips, which are very tiny, which I don't think I can see. I think there's one just up here somewhere but it's very small. The windscreen is also in very good condition. Let's try and get that in focus, there we go. It's not pitted or chipped badly or anything like that. And like I say, the, um, the grill at the front has got the, usually round here it can be chrome, but this is uh, finished in a sort of a, a graphite gray. Now, if you notice, this has got the larger um, wheel arch kit which has all been colour coded so it gives it a much more rugged look and we've got these lovely 20 inch sidewinder black uh, rhino alloy wheels which are really nice and they've got like a dish effect there's no spaces on there but can you see from the shape of the wheel they come out a little bit further so they fill the wheel arch really nicely. We've got the side bars to step onto as well. You can see the finish of the paintwork all down there. I'm just gonna bring you around to the other side and show you down the side of this car. We've got a little bit more reflection of everything in the background, but you can just see we've got some uh, Cooper all-terrain tires which have actually very smooth. I've driven this vehicle and uh, it's really nice to drive. It's not uh, got too much vibration or anything like that. All the wing mirrors are in lovely condition. We've got uh, keyless entry. I just wanna show you the back alloy. There's no damage on any of the alloys and all the tires have got a good six plus mil of tread. All nice inside the wheel arch as well. And then if I show you, before I forget, we've got these um, smoked LED rear lights as well. Rear parking sensors. We've got a seven pin um, tow bar on the back as well. I'm just gonna show you down the side. There we go. Tinted windows at the back. Also tinted windows on that Truckman top. The Truckman top's also got the rails on the top of it as well, so you can put something up there. Now that's where you get a really nice shot of how the vehicle is, or how it looks, should I say. 
think it's either Nebola or Nebula Blue from memory. And come round to the back and uh, we've got the graphic grey, graphite, sorry, grey on the back bumper opposed to the chrome, which is really nice. All the side steps, sorry, side steps, the, the rear step, sorry. I'm full of cold, so apologies if uh, I don't get it quite right. The tailgate. If you look down the side of the reflection, there's no dents. Got the rear camera just up under there. And as I say, all tinted rear glass. Got a sort of spoiler at the top as well, which is really nice. In fact, what we'll do, we'll come round and look at this side of the vehicle. And then we'll take a look in the back. Let's try and keep what I'm trying to show you at the moment is the condition of the paintwork. Just show you that rear wheel. Like I say, I've checked all the wheels, there's no damage on any of them, and then I looked up the actual modeler or name of that alloy. And there's the side view from the driver's side. Now let's take a look in the back. So first of all, we release the handle and I can just drop the tailgate because we fitted the lift and damper kit. So if I just lift that up and drop it, rather than it slamming down like they usually do, because they're quite heavy, we've got a little damper that's been fitted here. And then this bar that runs all the way along and then into the tailgate, that actually takes, it's a torsion bar, it takes the weight of the tailgate. So you can literally, with your fingers, just lift it up. Like I say, they're usually quite heavy, so let's pop that down. Now you've got the, I think this is about a one, two, three, like a five piece um, interior bed liner. It's a Sport Guard Pro, 40 or something so it's all separate pieces the base piece and the side bits are separate the front bits separate and it's actually in really nice condition obviously they're there to take the scuffs of putting stuff in the back we've got the windows at the front and then the side windows pop open at the back so you can get a bit of ventilation in there if you've got a dog and you're going to put the dog in the back of the vehicle So all nice, uh, all nice in there. And then there's a seal, uh, an aluminium strip that runs along here. And that's not just to hold this down, but it'll stop any sort of stones and bits of grit getting under there. We've had the whole back strip completely down. It's all been cleaned underneath. Uh, then we run a load of, um, we wax the whole area and we don't polish the wax off. We leave it waxed and then put everything back in so we know that not just what you're looking at is clean, but everything underneath that um, area is clean as well, because otherwise the grit underneath can um, wear away at the paint and cause rust, and we don't want that to happen. So that's all been thoroughly cleaned out. So that's, pull that down, and that shuts down. Maybe what's a bit of silicon spray on those. In fact, we'll come round, sorry, I'm gonna come round to the passenger side. In fact, let me just take you up onto the roof. There's no damage on the roof or anything as well. Let's have a look inside now. So the Invincible X gets the JBL premium sound system. So you've got a uh, large speaker at the bottom there. All the door card is also in really nice condition for this age. It's not got lots of marks on it. You're always gonna get a tiny little I guess a little scratch somewhere, but it's actually in really nice condition all the way down to the bottom. And then we've got the Hilux foot plates there. And like I say, we've got the tweeter there, speakers down there. And I think there are some speakers 
Oh no, it's because the door's uh, open. Got a little glove box at the top there. We've then got all the books. Locking wheel nut is in the back. We've got a full set of rubber mats. Now the leather, there's nothing nasty on the leather. All in nice condition there. Center armrest. All around the gear lever. This has all been machine polished. Just a, we've got a small mop that we use just for doing interior trim. And then you've got your touch go Toyota sat nav system, Bluetooth audio, etc., dab radio, heated seats climate control, your four wheel drive system, cup holders there, eco and power. I'll show you more of that when we come around the other side. There we go. Now we'll take a look in the back. Again, the door card, really good condition. Rubber mats again. The back of the front seats, aren't marked, they're not all scuffed up. Sometimes in these vehicles, they get all scuffed. We've got Isofix in the back. And there are the, um, if you've got a child seat, it's got to go in. There are There is a, a, a loop just under here and a toggle for some of the um, child seats that need to go in. Center armrest. Try to give you an idea of the lever. I'll show you more when we come around to the other side in just a second. So let's just bring you round. Take a look in this side. Now, just being completely transparent, there's a little ding dent just on that piece of trim there. Okay, so this door card, that's just a reflection I think this is a very, very, very thin, just tiny light graze. It's very minor. Door sills and the leather seats from this side. No tears or scratches on there. And again, the back of the front seats. We've got these really handy handles when you climb in as well. We've got those at the front as well. Key to sentry, so with the key in your pocket, you can lock the vehicle or unlock the vehicle by putting, he says, I've got the key in my back pocket. Oh no, you press the button again. Sorry, too used to doing the BMWs. So you just press the button for locking and unlocking. We've got folding um, electric mirrors as well, or heated, of course. Let's get this back in focus. There we go. Driver door card. Okay. And then the rubber mat for the driver's side. Pedals. Driver's seat is all electric. Come up onto the top and the bolsters. Just come back out to get an overall view. They all seem to get this crease here. It's just as you get in. And then we've got a preheater for warming the car up um, quickly on a cold day. That's that top button. And then this one here is to assist you with the DPF clean. So they generally show you when they're going to do a DPF clean. And if you come to the end of your journey and it's still doing a clean, you can press that button. It will bring the idle speed of the engine up and it will carry on and finish the DPF clean. Got the cup holders either side as well. And we've got, in fact, if we jump in at this stage, I'm just gonna move the seat back now shut this up so we've got adaptive 
cruise control. You've got your cruise control lever down there. And then this button here is for the adaptive cruise. In fact, if I start the vehicle up, give me just a second. So here we go. All of the fascia in here has all been machine polished. They're, like a, they're finished in like a perspex and where people clean them with a cloth when they get dusted, they put little scratches. So we've machine polished that. They always come up really nice. So it looks really nice and crisp inside, as you can see. Now, if I put the cruise on, let's get this in focus, because there we go. So we put the cruise on. As you can see, it says radar ready. And then you can adjust with that button on the steering wheel, just how close or how far away you want to be from the vehicle in front. If we turn that off for a second, we've also got lane assist. Now, if we go into the settings, now this is using the buttons just here. Now, if we scroll down, we're on, we're currently on like the trip gauge with your, your settings. You can actually set the fuel cost and it'll tell you how much money you've spent in fuel, etc., in here. So all of that is in there. In fact, I'll show you the mileage as well. Where is it? Um, which window? I just, oh, wrong one. Sorry, we're on the trip gauge. Okay, so let's just reset all that. It's funny how when you're looking for something, you can't find, oh, was that it there? No, that was the costing. I don't know why I can't find it. <laughs> it's just typical. Let's go into settings for now. So, in here, this is where you can set up your your assist. Now, for the lane uh, lane assist, when you put your assist on, if you're not indicating, and the vehicle goes to change lane, it will warn you, and it will actually pull the steering and pull you back into the lane. So, if you're driving late at night and you're tired, you can put that on as a safety measure. You can adjust the sensitivity of it down there as well. You've got your collision control there and you can set the distance as well. So it will apply the brakes if you get too close. Uh, road speed awareness. So it'll tell you the speed of the road that you're on and notify you as well. And then this is your um, radar cruise control basically. So that's all on as well. And if we come out of there, trying to work out why I can't get it back to the right screen and I'm, I'm I drive one of these vehicles as well so it's a bit daft but you've got your uh, media on there as well um, vehicle information speed so I think that's enough on there um, over this side we've got the mode for and and uh, sorry and volume control for radio etc. Ah, oh, let's turn this up. Let's turn this down. Maybe I should have just uh, checked the volume before I started the video, but I didn't. Anyway, so we've got um, all your media on here, and you can go into source. You've got AM, FM, DAB. Bluetooth, and then some of the Toyota apps as well, USB, iPod, etc. And then if we go into navigation, we've got the map on there. We can change the mode looking down or perspective, etc. Or north can north orientated. And then we've got the vehicle settings as well, which you can update and clear on there and then if we take you back to setup you've got your general um, display audio connectivity you can change all the colors in the display as well you've got the display brightness um, did I click on that one yeah I did uh, general I think it's in here actually 
delete personal data. You can put all the bits on there, etc. So we've covered most of that. Now down here we've got the climate control. Uh, start, stop, and then your four-wheel drive uh, diff lock, four-wheel drive for two-wheel drive, high-speed high, high speed four, and low-speed four. God, this is what happens when I get a cold. I find it really hard to concentrate doing these videos, so apologies for that. Now, we've got eco and power mode. So if I come up onto the top here, now I'm just going to take... When you're... Um, to get that uh... there we go now if you're driving along and you're driving um economically let's say you get an eco sign down here in green to say that you're driving very economically or you can actually select to put it into eco mode so it'll keep it in an eco mode or you can put it into power mode and that will actually the 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 sort of um, dimensions of the ECU will change to give you uh, more performance. Okay, and down here we've got a, a plug socket in there, the 100 watt socket. We've got uh, USB and auxiliary down there and another 12 volt socket. And then if we put her into reverse, we've got the reverse camera the back you can actually see the, the tow bar from here as well which is quite handy okay so jump out and uh, show you under the bonnet I think we'll turn the engine off and it'll be after I've finished the video that I shall remember how to get to the mileage on the dash but I did check it beforehand so let's see if I can lift this up Bear with me. Okay. So here's the engine bay. 2.4. Now these are rated uh, 150 brake horsepower, but they actually drive really well. And um, you can actually get them remapped. Um, Celtic do a remap that we use, and they take them up to 182 brake horsepower. I think you get about another 50 pounds per foot of torque as well but uh, give me a call if you're interested in having that done and I'll give you the precise figures so all nice under there really nice and clean so that's just bear with me while I drop that down and we're just gonna bring it down to about there and let go and it will just fall nicely into position now the other thing that I forgot to mention was that we've uh, we've given it the toy service, but we there was a little bit of rust around the outside edges of the front discs, but they weren't really lit. But I just decided to um, change the front discs and pads, so we've actually put brand new discs and pads in the front. So that's been done as well. Now, like I say, I'm full of cold today. I probably haven't done the best job of the video, but hopefully you've captured most of what you needed to see please give me a call if you have any questions um like i say it's a lovely vehicle and uh be happy to answer any of your questions thanks for watching take care bye